Hello everyone. So in today's video, I'll be discussing how you can run uh, Magento's application on a Windows machine. So all till now we have known that we can install WAMP or XAMPP in Windows and then we can install the Magento's application. But, but here there's a better way or better solution where we can install a Ubuntu subsystem in Windows machine and then install our Magento's application. So in that way, it is a very much faster and like it's very much easier for, uh, for the developers to work upon. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here if you can see, I just created steps one by one. Uh, starting from installing the Ubuntu's uh, application on window, the Apache, MySQL, uh, PHP, Elasticsearch and finally the Magento. So uh, the first step you see the Ubuntu's installing Ubuntu's in Windows Store, what you have to do, you have to go to the Windows Store or the Microsoft Store, search for Ubuntu like this. I think it will come in the result page and from there you can directly go to this application. So here it is already installed. Okay, so like this you can install the uh, Ubuntu application on Windows. Okay, uh, if you click on it, so there is one important steps that you have to follow. This one that is the turn Windows features on and off and you have to ensure that the Windows system for Linux is turned on before starting your machine. So this is the only step that I have to follow from here. Rest all the steps I have mentioned here in my uh, Google Doc. Okay. So once the installation is completed, this is how the Ubuntu UI will look like. So see, it's a root and if I go here, so now it's like you are running uh, a Ubuntu system. So if I click on LS, so this is how where my Magento is installed, this Magento 2.4.3. So if I go here, so this is where all my files are there for Magento. So like this, what you have to do once it is installed, so this is how it is looking like in my local system. If you see, it's completely blank. So I have not installed any sample data. So that I will show in the next video. So it's completely blank over here. So uh, these are the all the steps that I mentioned here. Don't just copy it blindly and paste it. Before executing any command, just look for what it is there and any values that needs to be changed because machine to machine the values might change. Okay. So don't just blindly copy. So just go through each and every line very carefully, then execute it. And whenever you are facing any permission issues, just uh, keep in mind that you have to run that sudo command. And uh, apart from that, I think it will run, run very smoothly if you follow these steps because I have kept the steps very uh, precise. So you have to follow those steps one by one. And once it is done, just try to restart all the services like the Elasticsearch, Apache and MySQL. And once it is done, just check in the local host, the Magento will be running. So I think uh, that's it for today's uh, video. If you have any queries or any questions, just let me know in the comment section. So I'll try to upload this note. Maybe in the I'll share the link or maybe I'll upload the steps in the GitHub. So I'll share uh, like uh, the details over there in the description. So I think that's it for today, guys. So I'll see in the next video. Thanks for watching.